Hey guys, it is Bing Bing's here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this video, I just run in the title. I'm going to be sharing a few of my top books that I read in 2020. I read so many great books this year. I cannot like put it into one video, but this is just a few that I have on hand and that I, that I can remember. It's been a long time since I last posted. A lot has been going on. We'll get into that in another video. But this video, we're just going to talk about books, y'all. So with that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more booktube content and to be part of the family, period. Period! And let's just get right into this video. <laughs> I'm getting hot. This is my third time trying to film this, y'all. Okay. The nine order. These are just whatever I pick up. I'm going to start with these thrillers that I read in November. The first one being The Last Time I Lied. I absolutely adored this book, y'all. Everything about it was just perfect. So it's just about a girl named Emma. When she was 13, she went to the summer camp and she was bunked with these three older girls. One night she wakes up and then they're gone. She screams for help and then for like 15 years, no one knows what happened to them at all. It's 15 years later, the lady who owned the camp wants to reopen it for the summer and she asked Emma back and Emma has traumas. That's one thing to remember. She's a very unreliable character. You don't know if she's seeing things. It's real. You do not know. <laughs> the ending is just amazing. And like I said, if you have not read it, you need to get into it. Next, going on to the new husband. I love this I loved it so much. It's about Nina and Simon. Nina, she has two kids and had a husband named Glenn, but he went missing. There's blood found on his boat. The people are not sure if he went, if he died or if he has a new family. There's a lot of rumors about him starting a new family. No one knows what happened to the dude. But anyways, the book started with Simon and Nina moving in, and but you already know Simon's gonna be sketchy and the dark character my Simon needs to know he's very manipulated so he like very messed with her mind a lot so the, the reader's mind it was kind of frustrating <laughs> how good he was at it but I loved it so much and the ending the plot twists in it is definitely worth a read I love crazy male characters I don't know why it's just so fun to read about next going on with a series called the elite trials I read this like in the beginning of the year I'm just gonna talk about book one because you can't really talk about without you know basically about luna when she was seven she got kidnapped by this one dude and she was sent to the city that was owned by this one very bad guy who turned out to be her adopted dad and so anyways the year she's older now i don't remember how old like probably like 18 or whatever the book starts off with her training for this thing called the elite trials where if you went on three you're able to leave the city and obviously she wants to leave she don't like it there so she's training she trains until one day this boy comes in named Bryn. she instantly recognizes him he does not recognize her and so he's just trying to be goody goody with her <laughs> and she's like no so good so messy i loved everything definitely get into it especially with, like dystopians things with like little powers in them angst romance all that next going into a series i'm currently in the middle of i am in the third book of the amber and the ashes series i'm not gonna even like try to sit here and explain this book because I don't know how to explain it. You just need to read the summary and get into it. Basically by a girl and a soldier who world is kind of crashing into each other. The girl brother went to jail and she wants to save him so she ended up being a slave for Elias mom who was like the commandment. Things go south, things go wrong very fast. That's all you need to know. <laughs> One thing though you need to know before you go into the series did not love the character too much because the author does not care about ripping your heart out. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so yeah. Next going on with the book Scythe and Thunderhead. I'm still in the middle of this one. This book was so good. I was in a reading slump when I started this and the first page literally got me all interested. This book is basically about Citra and Rowan. They're your two normal teenagers until one day they scythe. Which scythe are the only people who can kill in this book. You can't die unless one of these things kill you so one day at size i forgot his name but he made them his apprentices but he could only have one so they do the book they kind of compete compete against each other to see who's gonna get that one spot and through the book they kind of develop a little like you know but not really um <laughs> but it's so good i love the world i love the storyline i really can't say much because like there is like a plot twist a little bit in the book that like something happens and book two what i read so far wow <laughs> That's what I gotta say. It's it's really good. So definitely get into it if you have not already. Next going on by your side by Casey West. I read this also in the beginning of the year. It's really about Autumn and Dax. They're both from opposite side of the track. 
Autumn's your average rich girl and Dax is poor and in foster care. So one day Autumn was with her friends at the library and it, they're about to leave and then she's like, wait y'all, I gotta go get my stuff. She goes to get her stuff just to find out that she's like locked in the library and it's like a holiday weekend so they're gonna be there for like three days. And she thought she was by herself until she, she realized that Dax was there and they both have strong opinions about each other you know he thinks he she's your snobby rich girl and she's very like oh you like do drugs you do bad things but you know and it was one of those situations that like they didn't they weren't really like friends in those three days but it was like if you're stuck with someone for three days you may as well like talk bond you know once they got out so much happened i don't remember what, exactly what happened but there was a lot of angst in this i love the romance and just it was amazing i really loved it <sighs> my precious beast and shiny armor this is a beauty and the beast retelling so basically in this book there are good folks and bad folks and this book was told in present and past even who is the prince was born in bad folks even though his parents are the good folks so that made him kind of been raised isolated his parents didn't really like like him because he was so different so he was like kind of protected his heart turned cold except for bell when they were young like they kind of had this competition where they would try to like down each other and try to win over each other and like up you know embarrassed and the things that he did to her was mainly out of like because he didn't know how to like show up affection i don't know it was it was so weird because everything he did was just out of because he wanted her to like notice him it was so cute <laughs> but anyways in the beginning it starts off when they're in court because he has sent him to jail and took in his like spot on the kingdom and that made him very mad and also hurt because he never thought that she would go that far with the game so he's hurt and he's trying to get it back and they have to go on this little adventure to see who is deserving of king kingdom or whatever i don't remember it's so cute it's so cute so definitely read this book like no joke stop what you're doing and get to the book this is another one of my top favorite books of 2020 i'm pretty sure it was released this year Alyssa cole did her thing in this book i don't care what nobody says so basically this is about sydney when she was younger she grew up in this small town in brooklyn one day when she was older she came back to her town she realized that people she grew up with were missing gone disappearing not only that but also white people were moving in stores she used to go through or like being changed and gentrified so she's like wait up <laughs> what is this wait a damn minute <laughs> anyways a new neighbor that moved in was theo and his girlfriend don't even start on his girlfriend she has this underlying race to girl anyway so theo he moved across from sydney's house and he was a little creepy he used to watch her from his window I don't know but other than that i loved his character i love the little interracial relationship they had going on i could relate you know <laughs> anyways you know i get it okay girl i get it anyways <laughs> so basically like sydney in the black community they created like a little get together to try to figure out how to save the community try to figure out what was going on and to create like a walking tour to tell the history about their neighborhood and theo he just wanted to join you know white people they just <laughs> They just be there <laughs> the ending was so intense so many funny content in this book people on my snapchat was like yo tell me what book this is so definitely get into it if you haven't already next going on full disclosure by cameron garrett please about sydney she had to transfer schools because at her old school she told someone she thought she could trust about her secret and then ended up, ended up telling everybody she found two amazing best friends and also a boy named miles in her theater class and huh, it's amazing so anyway she really likes him but because of her hiv she doesn't really know how to like you know but things was happening and then one day she gets a note on her logger saying if she doesn't dump miles then they're gonna tell everybody her secret and obviously she's like what huh no mm -mm. so this book she's trying to figure out who it is but also trying to figure out her relationship with miles and i just love how educational it was it was a story but it told you some facts about hiv and how people live and just it was amazing i loved it and her her father was just so supportive of her and just so funny and engaging so definitely read it it's an amazing book so i don't know if this is controversial or not but serpent and dove i read a lot of stuff about this book and i loved it i hate to be the 
I don't know. I loved it. I will say the character, she, she used to say Big Titty Liddy or whatever that. It was not funny. It was so funny. It was one of those things the first time, a girl, okay, ha ha ha. But after that, you're just a child. About a witch and a witch hunter, something happened where they had to get married. And the reason why they had to get married is so dumb because <laughs> what? That makes no sense. But okay. Other than that, stuff i found i love the romance i love like their interaction and how it was like an enemies to lovers book it's definitely a very mixed review book to so go into it knowing that but my favorite <laughs> okay i hugged this book when i was done because it's just so precious it is about canal and isa canal he is a loyal soldier he belongs in like the higher people or whatever like that isa is like your bad rubber girl she's considered the viper and everything and in the beginning when they met they kind of hit it off and the next day now and his like other people found out that the general is dead and it there was proof left that the viper did it and they all thought that the viper was a man because apparently thought a woman could never anyways so they're like commander or whatever it's like okay y'all four go and find the viper go find him and now kind of had a little inkling that it may be her and he ends up catching her and it's a little cat and mouse game because he catches her she runs away catches her run away through the journey they sort of catch little feelings for each other and they find some interesting little thing perfection next going on to this light between us I don't even know where to start this book except it is not for the faintest of hearts this was taking place in world war ii and of the bombing of pearl harbor this book's about alex and charlie and they're pen pals and they got put together when they were younger because they thought that they were the same gender obviously they weren't alex is the boy and, and charlie is the girl alex he lives in like bainbridge island and then charlie is in paris things are going good through the years until one day it starts out with alex in church with his family and things just like shift because the bombing happened and like from there their lives is truly like changed and it's really sad it was really really sad to like read about all the stuff they had to go through at school and public and the stuff that happened to their families and like the camps and not only for the japanese americans but also for place for when the nazis were taking the jews to the camps in charlie's letter she's telling him about what's all going on and obviously he's concerned and, and then one day charlie stops writing alex and he's like what happened to her are you okay and she tries he tries sending her letters but her his letters are being sent back as you can see i went crazy with the tabs in this book I don't want to spoil anything, but the ending was just so strong. Leaves you thinking. It leaves you just like, oh my gosh. So, definitely do this book knowing it has some very hard stuff to read, but it's all so educational. History was not like my thing. I will admit I was not the smartest in history. So, this definitely educated me on so many things I didn't know. Loved it so much. I'm so glad I stumbled upon this book. I don't know how I did, but I'm so, so glad. It's definitely one of the top fives that I read in this year. So yeah. that is it in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more booktube content, period. And to be part of the friend group. Um, so yeah, I hope through this video you're able to find some new books to possibly read. A lot of these books are definitely worth checking out. But anyways, I'm so glad I got the chance to read all these books. They're all amazing. The characters, I fell in love with everything. Um, yeah, with that being said, we definitely comment down below some of your favorite books of 2020 i'm always looking for new books especially if they have romance in it even if it's not full-on romance it's like a tiny bit i just need a tiny bit <laughs> so i'll see you guys in the next video